sometimes when we want to do something by ourselves and we tell our friends, especially, and we tell our friends in the nicest way as possible, it can come out wrong sometimes and some people can get um, a little upset and their feelings hurt, even if you say it nicely. So it's good to be careful about what you say to people before you, you actually say it to them because sometimes even if it's in the nicest way, it could still may hurt their feelings. Think before you say stuff. Before we start this video, I'd like to apologize for my voice. I was sick while filming this video. Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I want to do a knit with me story time. As you can see, I'm working on a project right now. And today's knit with me story time is going to be the time I told my friend nicely that I wanted to jump rope all by myself because I never got a chance to really actually jump rope for myself for a while. And she accidentally took it the wrong way and thought I was being mean, mean until it was explained by a teacher why I wanted to jump by myself. So this is a story just to let you guys know, sometimes when you tell people you wanna do things on your own, it can, may come out the wrong way and you might hurt their feelings. So it's good to be careful of how you word it, especially if you word it in a nice way because it can come out wrong and some people take it personal. So always just think before you say things and think about how you say them before you upset other people or make it seem like you're hurting their feelings. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. And because I won't be using names for safety purposes, I'm going to give my friend a name and call her Jump Rope because she wanted to jump rope with me. So I think this might have started maybe about... Um, 23 or 22 years ago, I think it was maybe 23 years ago, or is it 22? I don't remember. Um, I was either in the second or first grade. I had this friend who constantly liked to jump rope with me. I'm going to call her, um, jump rope just for safety purposes. And we were jumping rope and, um, and um, she constantly loved jumping with me and she would run in and try to jump in all the time. And it was really fun, but it got to the point where sometimes I didn't get a chance to be by myself and I felt like I didn't get much of a turn because my friend was jumping with me. So I wanted to think of, so I thought about it and I kind of wanted to jump by myself. So my friend asked me, uh, my friend Jump Rope asks me, Would you like to jump rope with me? So right when she said that, sorry, I'm untangling my yarn right now. Um, so right when she um, said that, she, um, I was thinking about it and I felt like I never got a chance to really jump by myself for a while. So I wasn't really in the mood to do a two person jump rope. So I politely tell my friend, I would like to jump rope by myself today. And um, I, just haven't had a chance to do it myself because I felt like I haven't really gotten a turn to do it by myself. So my friend, so hearing this, my friend actually take, jump rope actually takes it personal and her feelings are kind of hurt and I kind of feel bad. So right when it's my turn, I go to jump rope and then I kind of start, try to have fun, but it's kind of hard for me because I feel really guilty that my friend is upset with me because I wouldn't let her jump rope with me and I felt really, really bad. So I talk, try to talk to my friend and she doesn't want to talk to me because she's kind of mad at me. And so um, right when the bell rings, we go to line up and my teacher is checking on us to see how our recess was. And she notices my friend is kind of sad. And she's like, what's going on? And the teacher was like, what's going on here? So my friend tells the teacher, my friend Jump Rope tells the teacher. Mina's being mean to me. So my teacher looks at me and asks me why I'm being mean to Jump Rope. So I explain to the teacher that I wasn't being mean. I was, um, I just felt like jumping rope by myself. And it's not that I didn't want to jump rope with her. It's just I haven't jumped by myself in a while. And so... 
um, after I explained this, the teacher understood and she explains this whole thing to Jump Rope. And when she's explaining this thing to Jump Rope, Rope, Jump Rope is under, under, starts to understand why I wanted to Jump Rope on my own and how I wanted to just be by myself in the Jump Rope. It's not that I didn't like her, it's just I wanted to be on my own for Jump Rope because I never got really got much time to be on my own to jump rope for a while. So after she explains this, I apologize to my friend for hurting her feelings by accident. My friend apologizes to me for misunderstanding. And we got the whole situation over with. And so my friend started to respect that if I wanted to jump rope by myself, it was fine. And then once in a while we could do two person, which also was really fun. So we kind of compromised that and it worked out really well. So the moral of the story is when you want to do something by yourself, try the best to, way to say it as nicely as possible. And sometimes even if you do say it, say it nicely to people, it still can come out kind of mean to them. I mean, you just need to be careful about how you say things to people because sometimes when you just um, tell people that you want to do something by yourself, they'll take it as rude. But it's just better to explain why you want to do things by yourself before um, your friend takes it personal, just so they understand how it feels. So just keep in mind, think about how you say things. I mean, even if you say them in the nicest way, because sometimes they can come out mean to other people. So just, just think about those things. So that was a story about how my friend accidentally got her feelings hurt when I wouldn't let her jump rope with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this taught you how when you tell sometimes tell people things, especially if it's in a nice way, they can kind of take it personal. And you have to be careful about how you would say it to people. And some people will get their feelings hurt. But if it's explained a little better by like a teacher or another parent, then they should understand better. So always get someone to help explain it so then your friend doesn't take it personal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Oh. Uh.